Hey guys, welcome you all. This is Salim here, and I'm welcoming you all for the new series of biology paper discussion. And in this series, like every day, we'll be completing one concept. Okay, and we'll take one concept and we'll see what are all the questions been asked in the previous year NEET question papers. And we'll be discussing about the answers as well as the rest of the three options why it is not so the answer. So once we get to know that, then it'll be easy for. Then you can say it is a complete uh, version. They, then you have completed the concept okay clearly so that is what the motto of us right okay don't forget to subscribe this channel okay until or unless you are not subscribing or uh, uh, it is not going to be a motivation for me okay so i want i requested all you to do subscribe for this channel and just share to your all friends so everyone will get utilized of it okay so without wasting our time just we'll go uh, go to the questions okay and I'm, I'm i'm sure like here i'm not going to waste your time by asking very silly questions okay all basic conceptual questions i will be asking the questions where the students used to make a uh, mistake okay that type of questions will be asked in this series right okay first we'll go we'll have a clear concepts okay so in this i'm just i have taken some uh, uh, material based questions where usually students will be making a lot of mistake okay so first question let's say water current in a body in a sponge body are maintained by what is water current water current is nothing but water movement okay water movement in a sponge body are maintained by who are which type of cell is going to maintain the water current okay the options are archaeocytes pinacocytes spongiocytes and kinocytes okay make sure like first we are just sorting out all these things okay so if you talk about archaeocytes if you talk about archaeocytes what is archaeocytes archaeocytes is nothing but a totipotent it is a totipotent cell okay what is the meaning of totipotent cell which will uh, give a rise to new cell that is called as archaeocytes so obviously it is not going to be answer for us okay and the next one is uh, pinacocytes what is pinacocytes it is a flat cell pinacocyte is a flat cell which is found outermost layer okay and in sponges it is called as pinacoderm it is also called as pinacoderm okay so obviously it is also not our answer okay and next one spongiocytes so this spongiocytes are the cells which is secreted from sponge cell okay which is secreted from sponge cells okay so the answer is spongiocytes okay spongiocytes are the cells which is maintaining the whole sponge body in water current in water movement and what is this canocyte canocyte is a flagellated cell or you can say it is a collar cell okay so the first question water current in a sponge body are maintained by spongiocytes okay so first question is clear next one let's see the second question sponges are included under the sub kingdom okay you might have all studied about kingdom but most of the students used to skip the sub kingdom part okay so i'm just giving some basic idea about sub kingdom okay first we'll see what is you metazoa okay first when we talk about you metazoa all true tissue organisms okay i will be explaining here you metazoa okay you metazoa means it is a sub kingdom which includes all true tissues which includes all true tissues so obviously we know sponges are not true tissues so this is not an answer next one is radiata radiata is nothing but the class the kingdom it is a sub, sub kingdom okay so that sub kingdom which classify all radially symmetrical it will classify all radially symmetrical bodies okay so obviously uh, sponges are not radially symmetrical okay they are not radially symmetrical but uh, you can say some options are also there but we'll see okay because leucosolenia is radial symmetry okay so you can see that okay we'll make this as an option next one is animalia animalia is not a sub kingdom it is a kingdom so obviously it is also not an answer and the last one is parazoa parazoa is nothing but the sub kingdom parazoa is a sub kingdom which includes uh, all tissue organization okay which which uh, contains a lack of tissue organized tissue organized uh, organisms okay so tissue organized organisms so we all know sponges are cellular organization okay so parazoa will be the right answer if at all parazoa is the option which is not given in this question then the answer would be radiata so right now the answer is parazoa remember 
okay so if you are not able to understand just slow down this video and just watch this video once again you will get to know okay i'm a bit fast because of lack of time right the third question the third question is yes in sponges in sponges gametes are derived from in sponges gametes are derived from which cell okay so archaeocytes what is archaeocytes archaeocytes is nothing but which is going to create a which is going to create a uh, new organism okay which is going to create a fertilized organism okay and epidermis when we talk about epidermis epidermis is nothing but the outermost layer okay pinacoderm pinacoderm means which is also called as pinacocytes pinacoderm is also called as pinacocytes and last one mesohyle is also nothing but mesoglia okay so here the answer will be archaeo sites okay the here the uh, site here the uh, answer will be archaeo sites okay so this archaeo site and cano sites both will be doing both same work okay archaeo sites and cano sites are going to uh, help in a totipotent cell it, it is going to help in a totipotent way okay so just with the term totipotency okay just with the term toti potency we can say archaeo sites are the uh type of cells which derive gametes in sponges right so the answer is archaeo sites then next question sponge seal opens through we all know in a organism in a sponge organism two types of pores are there right one is ostea one is ostea and another one is osculum okay so this ostea will be uh, receiving water whereas osculum will be releasing the water and this ostea and osculum will be connected with a canal okay and where the water canal system will be present right okay and now here the question is spongocil opens out through yes already i said water will be released through osculum so that is the answer so ostea is the place where inward of water will be present and osculum is the place where outward of water will take place and what is this madreporate what is it madreporate and cloaca yes we have to remember all these things right when we talk about madreporate when we talk about madreporate madreporate is nothing but a perforated plate perforated means uh, which is having a small pores okay perforated plates where sea water will enters where sea water enters okay so perforated plate where the sea water enters so already we said the water will be enters only through ostea so ostea and madreporite are both are same right ostea and madreporite both are same both will help in intake of water okay and what is cloaca cloaca is a common opening cloaca is a common opening which helps to release feces as well as urine which helps to release feces as well as urine okay but here the question they have asked sponge seal opens okay so sponge seal the whole coelom cavity will opens through osculum it is not through cloaca and moreover sponge sponges does not have cloaca also right so these are all the not an options and osculum will be the option okay next we'll talk about type of fertilization what type of fertilization it has okay almost everyone will know it is having a internal uh, fertilization okay so the gemmules will be produced which is uh, internal bud right okay here the gemmules will be produced which is a internal bud okay so obviously it is going to be a internal okay and whether it is self or crossed yes it is crossed it is crossed and it is not self okay so the answer will be cross and internal okay so this is what the answer for 25 let's see about 26 a type of nutrition and digestion in sponges are respectively what type of nutrition will take place and what type of digestion will take place very easy to remember very easy to remember what is holozoic holozoic means which hunt which will uh, eat animals okay which will eat animals or you can say organisms okay what is holophytic phytic means plant phytic means plant okay intercellular means with uh, within with between two different cells intracellular means within the cells okay so obviously the answer is going to be holozoic and intracellular it will eat organisms okay it will eat organisms and animals it will not eat plants so it is holozoic okay and it will happen within the within the cell okay so it is called as 
intracellular. Okay, it is not intercellular. Yes, guys, hope you all understanding what I'm trying to say. Right? Next question. Given below are types of cells present in some animals. This is a direct MCRT exemplar question. Okay, given below are the types of cells which is present in some animals. Which of the following cells differentiate to perform different functions? What is canocytes? Canocytes is a collar cell. Okay. So, what is gastrodermal cell which is present in a gastro uh, cavity part? Okay. And nematocyst, nematocyst will not present in uh, sponges, nematocyst present in the uh, protozoans. Okay. But interstitial cells. So, this interstitial cells, usually the cells type, the type will be same, but the functions will differ according to the cell okay according to the place where the interstitial cells are present what is interstitial cells interstitial cells is nothing but the spaces which between okay the spaces which between functional differences okay which is present between the functional cells and that is an interstitial cells so here the question they are asking the cells which can differentiate to perform different function so this cell will perform different function according to the place where it present, right? So that is what an answer of this question, right? I hope you all understood all this concept based questions. Okay, let's move to the next. Okay, so here see, uh, this is another one. Uh, this is uh, neat questions, which is asked in 2017. In case of porifers, the spongio seal is lined with a flagellated cell. We all know which is a flagellated cell. Canocytes. Canocytes is a flagellated cell. So answer will be canocytes. Okay, what is ostea? Ostea is the pore where the water enters and osculum is the pore where the water will be released. Okay, both will be connected with canal system. Okay, and mesenchymal cells. Mesenchymal cells is nothing but uh, the mesoglia cells. Okay, mesenchymal cells is also called as, it is also called as mesohyl. This mesenchymal cells is also called as mesohyl cells or it is also called as mesoglia cells okay which act as a connective tissue which act as a connective tissue right so it is not going to uh, it is not uh, related to your question right so it is canocytes the last question body having mesh work what is mesh work a small 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 pose okay a mesh like structure will be there where a small 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 pose will be present okay of the cells and internal cavities are lined with food filtering flagellated cell so you can see the whole body is covered with small small pores a mesh like small small pores and it is having a food filtering flagella it is having a food filtering flagella cell and it has an indirect development what is that it is nothing but our porifera it is nothing but our porifera because porifera is the only phylum which contains a pores on its body Okay, that is a uh, meshwork type of uh, pose. Okay, even when we talk about earthworm and all skin will be having small pose, that is not a meshwork. Okay, but here it is a meshwork type of cells and also it has the flagellated cells. What is that flagellated cells? Canocytes. Okay, so it has a canocytes or it is also called as collar cells. That's right, so because of this, we are going to take this option full. Para. Okay. So you see guys that this is all the basic conceptual questions will move to the previous year questions will move to the previous year questions okay so see in this previous year questions i have i didn't uh, i didn't uh, like skip any of the questions i wanted to answer all the questions for you guys okay so first we'll see what is this uh, in 2014 this was asked right okay the cellular organization of body is presenting cellular organization of body is presenting obviously porifera okay because annelida platyal windens and urochordata all are having uh, organ and organ system level of classification so answer is porifera okay next one is which options show incorrectly matched group which options show incorrectly matched group okay so in this options you can see gemules are there spongula are there budding are there okay gemules spongula and budding are there okay and pseudoporosis plasmodium sporulation is there zoospores aspergillus sporulation is there and conidia penicillium asexual reproduction is there but here they are asking which is incorrectly matched which is incorrectly matched so according to this you can say gemules are the gemules are the internal budding 
gemmules are internal bud but it undergo asexual reproduction it undergo asexual reproduction so this is the option which is incorrectly matched rest all are correct okay so no need to confuse a lot okay remember this gemmules are going to have internal budding so it is not going to have a common budding it is not going to have any uh, major budding okay it is just going to have an internal budding but the reproduction is asexual okay so that is what a question answer says okay next one is canocytes canocytes are present in as we all know it is present in porifera so canocytes is nothing but collar cells okay so this canocytes will be present in porifera it is not present in any other uh, phyla it is not present in any other phyla right okay yeah so some sometimes there is a question also what is exactly a collar cell what is exactly a collar cell known as okay what is exactly a collar cell is known as what is the role of this okay it is a specialized flagellated cell it is a specialized flagellated cell okay it is a flagellate specialized flagellated cell and it will be having a flagella which is a steady current of water moving okay which helps in which will be steady even in a water current the first question which we studied today right water current okay so that water current stability will be produced by canocytes so that is one important question okay steady water current the water current stability will be uh, produced by or it can be sustained by cano sites okay so that is one extra point from this question next one is ostia is present in ostia is present in obviously it is present in sponges only because ostia is the pore which will be which will be present only in poriferans okay which will be present only in poriferans and that is the smallest and numerous type of pores that is the smallest and numerous types of spores okay which will be spread throughout the body okay and it will be having a excellent aperture too okay so that is all what about ostia okay when we come for 2012 questions in most simple type of canal system we are talking about a canal system okay the water flow through which one of the following way it is very common right okay first it comes through ostia first it comes to ostia then it goes to then it goes to yes ostia then it goes to spongocele osculum and exterior okay so ostia spongocele osculum and exterior will be the answer okay then which of these is referred as venous flower basket from here see this question is very important many times the question been asked but multiple times students used to just skip this because they might have not studied this okay very simple see which one is referred as venous flower basket okay you can say so this word itself we are now only we are hearing it okay so but just we'll have some idea according to the question okay so first one spongilla spongilla is called as fresh water sponge okay spongilla is called as fresh water sponge okay so it is also not an option okay next one sycon sycon is also called as aquarium it is also called as aquarium hobby hobbyist it is also called as aquarium hobbyist so this is also not an answer okay let's say euplectella euplectella is nothing but venous flower basket okay it is called as venous flower basket okay and then what about cleona cleona is nothing but red boring sponge red boring sponge okay cleona is also known as red spore boring sponge and protearian protearian even i couldn't find that answer if you able to answer just let me know in your comment box okay protearian what is prote protearian is yes, protearian right okay fine so when we when we when uh, if you need some extra points for this i can say you you plectella you plectella is one of the beautiful sponge which is commonly called as venus flower basket and it will be present in a deep sea okay and the skeleton comprises of long thread like silly silly uh, uh, siliceous spicules it will be having a spicules and they are closely woven to form a beautiful basket okay 
so if it is not uh, audible just go back and uh, hear it okay i'm just reading from the book okay what is this euplectella okay so just remember euplectella is venus flower basket okay next question canocytes from the lining of para para, para gastral cavity now the question what is para gastral cavity what is para gastral cavity okay so para gastral cavity is one of the type of cavity which open through which open through which open through a cloaca okay so it is a type of cavity which opens through a cloaca okay cloaca what is cloaca it is a common opening for both feces and uh, uh, urine okay so that is a common opening the cloaca okay so they are asking canocytes form the lining of paragastral cavity in in where okay it is going to produce in sponges yes exactly okay because canocytes are not present in jellyfish it is not present in helminthes it is not present in echinoderms okay it is present only in sponges blindly we can answer even if you are not able to understand the part what is paragastral cavity because this type of terms will be given just to confuse you okay fine next one which of the following cells are capable of giving rise to other new types of cell already i have discussed this already i have discussed this type of cell what is that archaeocytes right so archaeocytes will be having a tauti potency this is the third time i'm repeating the same term again in this video tauti potency archaeocytes are called as tauti potency that means which give a uh, rise to which give rise to new individual which give rise to new individual that is called as tauti potency and that will be done by archaeocytes okay so the question answer will be archaeocytes but we can just leave that archaeocytes now we have to know what is uh, what is t cell sites what is uh, pinacocytes all those things okay yeah <clears throat> so cnidocytes cnidocytes is nothing but cnidoblast okay which is present in the cnidarians cnidocytes are nothing but cnidoblast which is present in cnidarians and pinacocytes already we studied pinacocytes are present in the outermost layer pinacocytes are the outermost layer which present in on the sponges which is also called as pinacoderm which is also called as pinacoderm and tespo tesocytes tesocytes is nothing but uh, i forgot it now tesocytes okay let me let me answer this okay whenever i'm remembering okay or if you know that you can just you can also uh, um, add in your comment box okay tico sizes but obviously it is not an answer okay fine next we'll go to a sponge which is harmful to oyster industry a sponge which is or uh, harmful to oyster industry okay and that is nothing but you are cleona okay cleona is a harmful oyster for harmful for oyster industry so what is the uh, cleona referred as what is cleona referred as it is already written yes what is that it is red boring sponge okay it is a red boring sponge okay so that is what about cleona okay um yes they are they are usually present in they are usually grown in uh, other animals this cleona usually they will be grown upon other animals okay and they will be boring okay they will be boring over it okay and uh, cleona tunnels into the shell of oyster okay so this cleona what it will do it will tunnels it will create a pores over the oyster so that's why this type of sponge is harmful for oyster industry okay and what is uh, hyalonema hyalonema because we know you spongia true sponges spongilla we know but what is hyalonema hyalonema is nothing but it is called as hyalonema is called as glass rope it is called as glass rope okay it is in smallest organism it is also a type of sponges only okay it is also called as glass rope which is used in ornaments okay which is used as an ornament by the ancient peoples okay fine so that is what about this 2007 seventh question 
Okay, next we'll move to the next question. What is left when bath sponge dries up? What will left when the bath sponge dries up? Okay, so usually masses of bath sponge are collectively, they are collectively uh, joined together. Okay, so here uh, bath sponge dries. So what it will be released? Spicules are the backbones. Okay, spicules are the backbones. Tentacles, there is no tentacles in sponges. What is tentacles? Tentacles in the stringing like cells. Okay, which will help in uh, attracting the prey. Prey. Okay, so that is tentacles. So obviously tentacles are not there. Spicules is the backbone that is not there. Okay, and hold first. Hold first is the anchoring type of organ. Okay, that is also not going to be uh, present. Okay, and the last one is spongin fibers are going to be present. Okay, so this spongin fibers are a protein. Okay, this fibers are a protein. Okay, it's a type of protein which is a collagenous flexible protein. Okay, so this will be uh, used for scrubbing. The sponging fibers are used for scrubbing the body during the bath as well as for mopping, polishing. So, so many commercial values are also there for this. Okay, then next one the canal system in characteristic. Canal system is characteristic, characteristic feature of we all know is sponges because canal system is be present only in sponges. Okay, in helminthes, cylindrates, echinoderm, and so on. Okay, there is no canal system, but in echinodermata, we know water vascular system is there, right? Water vascular system is there, but do remember that water vascular and water canal both are different. Okay, so water canal system will be a characteristic features of sponges, whereas water vascular system is the characteristic features of echinoderms, right? Moving to the next slide. Which one of the following statement about all the four of spongilla, leech, dolphin, and penguin is correct? Okay, so they have given some statements. Okay, we have to find which one is correct. Okay, so here what they have given, penguin is homothermic. What is homothermic? Homothermic means which is uh, cold, cold, uh, uh, what is it? Cold, cold blooded organisms. Okay, so homothermic are cold blooded, sorry, uh, cold, warm blooded. Okay. Penguins, uh, homothermic means warm blooded, okay, whereas spiculothermic are cold blooded, okay. So, here what they are saying, penguin is homothermic, rest all are spiculothermic, cold, okay. Yeah, okay, somehow it is correct. Let's see what is the next. Leech is a freshwater warm case, okay, while others are marine, while others are marine. So, this point you have to remember, penguin is not marine, penguin is not marine. So, this option is wrong. Okay, spongilla has special specialized collar cells called canocytes, which are not found in the remaining three. Yes, this is the rightest one. Okay, this is the right one because canocytes will not be present in any other organisms. Okay, so that will be the right one. And all are bilaterally symmetrical. No, no. Okay, so when you talk about leeches, okay, they are not bilaterally symmetrical. Okay, when we talk about uh, sponges, they are not bilaterally symmetrical. So obviously that is also not an answer. So we have one perfect answer that is the option C. So we are not considering this one also, right? So option C will be the right answer. Next question will be talking about which one of the following is not a characteristic feature of sponges? Which one is not a characteristic feature of sponges? This is very common, right? Okay, it is a cellular level of organization, yes. But it, is, it has ostea, yes. It has intracellular digestion, yes. It is supported by chitin, yes. Okay, and it has an indirect development. Okay, it has an indirect development. If everything is yes, what is the answer then? <laughs> if everything is yes, then what is the answer? Okay, see, very simple. The answer will be, the answer will be, Okay. Yeah. So the answer will be uh, this one. Option D. Answer is option D. Body supported by chitin is the option D. Body is supported by internal skeleton. Body is supported by internal skeleton. Okay. Which consists of calcareous and spicules. So that is consists of calcareous and spicules. So this answer is wrong rest all are correct okay so the body is made up of calcium okay the body is made up of calcium and also it has a fine spicules it has a fine 
five cubes. Okay, so there is no chitin, so the answer will be option D. Right. The next one is collar seals are the characteristic of collar cells are the characteristic of sponges because collar cells will not be present in earthworm uh, cylindrates as well as roundworm. It will be present only in sponges. Yes. Then canal system in porifera is not connected with is not connected. With it is one of the important question most of the students will do uh, mistakes in this. Okay, so here what are all the options they have given? Option A respiration, option B uh, nutrition, option C uh, sexual reproduction, and option D none of the above. So this canal respirates canal system is not going to involve in any of this. It is not going to involve in any of this okay so this canal system is concentrated with respiration nutrition sexual reduction and excretion okay but water is continuously drawn into the canal system through numerous dermal pores okay and which will not which will obtain food from water okay which will obtain food from oxygen from the water current and reproduction is also achieved so there is no such character which will be involved by the canal cells okay so none of the above will be the answer okay so remember respiration respiration is no accent there nutrition nutrition will be done with the help of the openings or you can say collar cells okay and sexual reproduction is also absent asexual reproduction takes place in sponges so answer is none of the above next one is which of the following is also known as collar cells canocytes Yes. Okay. Already, these things already we have uh, we have studied. What is pino pinocytes? What is pisocytes? All these things, right? Okay. Jen will go for undifferentiated totipotent cells. Already, we we studied this also. Undifferentiated totipotent cells of sponges are archaeocytes. Blindly, we can answer now because we know what is archaeocytes. Okay. And we also know other sites also. What are all the other sites also, right? Okay. So just make sure of answering. Archaeocytes. Okay, then which type of cell are absent in sponges? Which type of cells are absent in sponges? It is very simple. The nidoblast will not be present in the sponges. Okay, tropocytes will be there, mycocytes will be there, archaeocytes will be there, but nidocytes will not be there. So that is the answer. Okay, the next one is the internal bud of freshwater sponges are otherwise called as internal bud of already i said right okay there will be a internal bud formation there will be an internal bud formation okay and what is that word called as gemmules okay then what is canocyte canocyte is a collar cell osculum is a opening where the water will be released gastrula uh, blastula both are ba based on fertilization okay blastulation okay which will be producing embryo right okay and gastrula which will be producing germ layers that is gastrula Okay, so it is not there. Okay, so answer will be gemmules. Okay, next one, which of the following animals can successfully reproduce without utilizing the process of mitosis? Very, 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 very important one. Usually students used to make and wrong. Because <clears throat> the answer is among the reproduction, which one will not undergo mitosis? Okay, psychon will not undergo mycosis, whereas all other will undergo mycosis. Okay, then what about psychon? Psychon will undergo budding. Psychon will undergo budding. Then you can ask me, sir, Hydra will also undergo budding, right? But no, the surface will undergo. The surface of Hydra will undergo mitosis once after the budding shed over. Okay, once after the budding shed over, the surface will undergo mitosis for the development. But the psychons are attached with the uh, substratum, right? So there is no such required for mitosis. So, okay, so that is an example. That is an answer for this question. Next one, <clears throat> sponges are sponges are pelagic, free swimming, planktonic, and sessile. What is pelagic? Pelagic is nothing but where it is present in open sea. Where it is present in open sea. Okay, somehow it is correct. We'll make it sure. Okay, next one is planktonic. Planktonic means which is unable to swim, which is unable to swim. Okay, but against there is a key point, but against against current against water current but we all know sponges undergo water current sponges will face water current with the help of the canocyte cells so this will not be the answer 
okay so free swimming no it is not free swimming it will be attached with the substratum we all know that okay sponges are not free swimming so that is also not an option and the last one is sessile sessile means which is attached which will not be move okay which will not move from one place to another so that is what sessile known as okay so option d will be the right <coughs> answer okay the next question food storage in eucosolenia is occurred by food storage in leucosolenia will be occurs to by now the question comes here what is thesocytes okay already i said no nah, i don't know thesocytes okay thesocytes is nothing but it is a storage organ okay it is the storage organ okay so usually leucosolenia will be storing the food into thesocytes ostia and osculum help for water intake and releasing spongocele is the body cavity so answer thesocytes will be the right answer okay next one lava of sicon is lava of sicon is parenchymula parenchymula ambiblastula radia trochophora okay so the question is four things they are asking the parenchymula either it is parenchymula oscul uh, sorry amphiblastula amphiblastula radia or trochophyra okay trochophyra so make it very simple what is parenchymula okay when we talk about what is parenchymula parenchymula is nothing but non flagellated okay non flagellated okay so we are talking about lava okay here we are talking about lava so obviously lava will be having a flagella so it is not a parenchymula next one is radia when we talk about radia radia is nothing but a sporocyst okay which is a sporocyst okay so which will be present uh, the lava will not come out of the cyst okay it will be present within the spores so obviously it is also not the answer next one is amphiblastula <clears throat> amphiblastula means which is oval in shape which is oval in shape and it is free swimming oval in shape and it is free swimming so that is the right answer and trochophore what is trochophore it is a free swimming it is also a tree free swimming see they are confusing us okay trochophore is also a free swimming but they are present in annelids they are present in annelids so that is not an answer so the answer will be amphiblastula right the last question of this session is canocytes is an ascon type of canal system lines okay it lines on where it will be lines okay so it will be lines on spongio see then what is porocyte porocyte means which the pore where the water passes out canal porocyte means porocyte means where the water will be releases out releases out to the canal okay releases out through the canal so for that only we are already having osculum right then what is the role of porocyte okay there is no role for porocyte okay so there is no option at all okay and next one is apophile apophile uh, i am sorry i don't know Okay, I, I didn't search for that apophile. Okay, so apophile is also not there. In current means no, there is a current. There is a water current is present. Okay, so option will be spongio C. Okay, so with this we are completing today's session. I hope you all would have enjoyed this session and you might have got some idea about the new things also. You might have learned some new terms also. Okay, so if you have any suggestions, please do let me know in the comment box and I will be happy to. update myself and my motto is my motto and i want you guys also to make this as a motto think big dream big okay you can follow me in this uh, instagram salim hrs please do subscribe for this channel and share this to all your friends so uh, based on the number of subscribers and based on number of views it will be motivating for me to do the videos every day okay so with this winding up this session uh, will meet in the next meet paper discussion session okay thank you guys bye